Ciao, Old Smelter is here and today we will create this. As you can see, depending on the screen size, our content is changing as well. So today we will create uh, different content for different kind of screen sizes, either it's tablet, mobile phone or desktop. So we will achieve all this without any custom coding. So let's head to our dashboard and create a new page. As usually I will call it as a test, save draft, switch to our backend editor, add element, that's going to be row and I will add another row into the row and I will split this one into two parts. So on this side I will add single image and I will choose this image here. We can add as well some border to it, rounded one, and a small depth of shadow, save changes. On this side here I will add custom heading, and I will call, this is desktop heading, save changes, now we need to edit as well our font family and I will add another element which will be text block and something like that save changes and let's go to this column settings and I will add some 2% padding so this will give us some spacing so it's not so close to the image so let's click preview and this is what we created now. So if I will go to uh, mobile view, this is how it's going to look on the tablet. And if I will go smaller, this will be kind of mobile screen, what we will see. So let's head back to our dashboard and create a new content, which will be for our mobile devices. So to achieve that, I need to go to this row settings here and add a new column. So as you can see, I have one column here where I created a new row with two columns. And there is a new column for this outside row. And there I will simply just copy this image here. I will drag and drop it into this column. I will edit this image and replace it with this image here. Save changes. I will copy this heading and drag it as well under my image. I will edit this text and I will call it mobile. Save changes and I will copy this text here as well. And I will edit that one as well to make a bit difference. So this will be our mobile text. So if I will hit preview, this is how it's going to look like. As you can see, I have both contents contents here so how we can hide it I will go to those column settings here and I will edit this column settings and switch to responsive options and here I need to say that I want to show this column only on large desktop and medium desktop so I will hide it on tablet and mobile phone screens so save changes and for this column here, I need to do opposite. So I will hide it on large desktop screen and medium desktop screen and save changes. So if I will preview now, as you can see, I see only now on a desktop screen what it's needed to be for a desktop. And if I will switch to kind of tablet view, as you can see, this is my mobile content for mobile phones and tablets. So if I want to go even further, I will create another column. Oh, sorry, not this one there. I'll remove it. But it's going to be here. So there I have another column. So in this column, I will add content which will be only visible on the tablets. So I will simply copy again my single image object and I will edit and add this image here, save changes 
same I will do with my heading and I will rename it to tablet save changes and I will copy my text as well and edit this one as well just to separate it tablet so now we need to go again and edit our settings for our columns so on this one here I will hide it on large desktop medium desktop and I will hide it as well on a mobile so it will be shown only on our kind of tablet screen save changes and I need to edit this column here as well which is for our mobile view so I need to hide this content from our tablets so it will be only available on our mobile phones save changes and click preview so as you can see nothing's changed here but once we will go to our uh, desktop view as you can see this is what we see on our desktop and this is what we will see on our mobile phones so as you can see depending on the screen size our content is changing as well so this is how we can achieve different content for different screen sizes. Uh, we can do this to change just part of our page and the rest we can keep the same for all the kind of screen sizes or we can as well build this content so on the mobile phone our page will look that way, on our tablet will be different, on our desktop even more different. So this is how we can do this. There is as well another option how we could achieve kind of same result with different pages on a different kind of, let's say on mobile devices would be one uh, view on the desktop another one. Thus we could make that we creating a one page for mobile views and another page for desktop views. And then with custom code we could hide in our menu one page which would be only seen on a mobile view and another page would be only seen on the desktop view. So that would be kind of way how we could achieve that result with two different pages. But if we want to change only part of the content in our page, then this would be probably the better way to go. Just because this is how we can achieve just a part of our page if we need. Uh, if you want to find out more about how we can achieve those results different ways, you can join my academy all the links will be down below in the description don't forget to like it and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel <clears throat> and i will see you soon ciao